Now at 11, the Supreme Court hands a big win to the suspended mayor of Miami Lakes. This is a victory for democracy, and it's a victory for the people of Miami Lakes. But his fight to get his job back is far from over. First, Miami Lakes Mayor Michael Pizzi beat the federal bribery charges that got him suspended. I'm Cynthia Dimas. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Tonight, that suspension has been lifted. CBS 4 Summer Knowles is live in Miami Lakes with what happens now. Summer? Elliot and Cynthia, hello. Uh, what happens now? That's a great question. And as a matter of fact, it was actually the big question out here on Main Street among residents who right now have two men claiming to be their rightful mayor and a legal system that seems to not have quite figured it all out yet. My name is Michael Pizzi, and I am the mayor of the great, beautiful, wonderful town of Miami Lakes. This was former Miami Lakes Mayor Michael Pizzi reclaiming his spot as mayor Monday after Governor Rick Scott lifted his suspension after a little prompting by the Florida Supreme Court. Pizzi, who was charged with accepting bribes from undercover FBI agents, was acquitted by a jury last month. But that wasn't before he was suspended from office and then replaced by Wayne Slayton, who was elected by voters during a special election. It was completely ridiculous. I never should have been charged. I never should have been removed. And I should have been reinstated as mayor the day I was exonerated. So this is, uh, I feel relief. So now that Pizzi's suspension has been lifted, what happens now? Does he get his old job back? Well, the current Miami Lakes mayor says no and released this statement saying in part, once again, the court has recognized my election to mayor on 813 as the permanent mayor of the town of Miami Lakes until November of 2016. Governor Scott's executive order further supports the fact that pursuant to the special election, I am the mayor of the town of Miami Lakes. But residents and former residents aren't so sure. <laughs> I think it's crazy. I guess, no, I guess technically uh, he should get his old job back. How did he get acquitted, though? It is very difficult. This is a very divided town. Well, if it was up to you, if you had your say, what would you want to see happen as a resident? I would like to see happen the best for the town. Whatever it is the best for the town, that's what I would like to see happen. If people, the, the people want him. Well, you're one of those people. What do you want? I don't want him. A lot of residents being very honest with us there. All right, so the governor, although he has lifted the suspension for Pizzi, he has not mandated that he be reinstated. And you heard earlier that the current mayor, he's not planning on going anywhere. So it seems like it's going to have to be sorted out through the court system. We'll certainly keep you posted on what happens. We're live in Miami Lake, Summer Knowles, CBS 4 News tonight.